Hi everyone, my name is Enrique and I'm the person overseeing the pros.com interpreter network on Pulslingo. Today I'm going to show you how to set up your payment information on Pros Pay. So this is the Pulslingo dashboard. Uh, if you're already taking calls with pros.com, you are already familiar with this. Uh, this is your caller and if you come here, you can check your logs. Uh, well, this is an incoming call. I'm going to just to cancel this for the time being and I'm going to set myself offline so we are not bothered by calls. And here on the overview panel, you can see your earnings uh, for this week, current month, last week and last month. So of course, um, there's no data here because this is just a test profile. Um, so let's imagine that this is a, uh, a fresh interpreter who just joined the first uh, step that that interpreter needs to take in order to start, uh, in order to be able to withdraw their funds and get paid through pros.com is to set up their payment information. So this is your pros.com homepage. From this page, you can access any part of the site. You can interact with the site. Here you have your feed. Uh, here you have a quick poll. You can participate if you wish. So I'm a new interpreter. I just completed my pros.com profile and now I want to set up my payment information. Where should I go? Well, simply hover over your profile picture on the navigation bar on the top right corner and this menu will unfold. Then scroll down a bit until you find this section, my other activity, and click here on my funds. So this is your pros pay dashboard. Here, of course, I don't have any information. This is empty. My balance is empty. My available funds are empty because this is a new interpreter. So this new interpreter wants to set up their payment information so that uh, they can get paid next month. To do that, simply click here on set payment method. You will be taken to this page and here you have two options. You can either choose to get paid via, uh, via bank transfer or PayPal. And then you can also choose Pioneer. So with Pioneer, you just have to enter any, uh, you have to enter your email address, your Pioneer email address. You enter here and click save and then it will be saved here. Uh, then you can go ahead and remove it if you wish. Just for te testing purposes, I'm going to leave it empty for the time being. And then you click here on this tab. And uh, here you can set up, you can choose uh, either bank transfer or PayPal. When you click here, you will be requested to uh, enter certain contact information. You will see a form for that. And then you will be able to choose either uh, payment method. So let's get started. Add payout method. So most of the information is filled out automatically from the information I have on my prof, uh, pros.com profile. So let's scroll down a bit and yeah, it seems everything is complete. Let's click on next. And here it is. You have to select bank transfer or PayPal. Um, which one? Let's select, uh, let's leave it like uh, bank transfer. Here you have um, other information that you can complete. Uh, for example, the, uh, the currency, which, uh, well, I'm located in Argentina, so this is the default currency that you can uh, choose. Uh, then you, if you select bank transfer, you would have to enter the SWIFT code for your bank. Uh, you will have to make a Google search to find out what your Swift code is. Um, here you have to enter your bank address and well, uh, all the information that it's needed uh, for pros.com to uh, send you a payment. Once you complete all this, you just click on add and that will be it. So of course for uh, PayPal, this is much simpler. You just let's scroll up click here and well what you need to enter is your PayPal email address this is just you know a, a test email address um, and then you will be asked to confirm this um, so uh, whatever uh, PayPal email address that you you enter here that's the email address uh, Prospay will send the funds to 
So there's one more thing that you need to do. Click here on financial settings. Then on the left, scroll down a bit until you find a section called data security. And then scroll down to the button. So here you will be asked to enter another email. Um, but essentially what Prospay needs is that you enter your PayPal email here and that you confirm, you verify this email to just to make sure that uh, this is this is your uh, your actual PayPal email and that you know there are no mistakes. It's just an extra security step that it's required. And that's it. Uh, when it's verified, that will be it. Um, you can come back to your uh, Prospay dashboard at any time to check that the information that you have entered is correct. Also remember that if you are located outside the US, you might need to uh, fill in a form uh, just to specify you know, that, that uh, you're not within the US, you're not carrying out business within the US. But if you have already, uh, if you are outside the US and uh, have already worked for United States companies, chances are you're already familiar with this form. Um, so that's up to you. The form is available here on Prospay. You can complete it online. It's very simple. It just takes five minutes and that will be it. Um, once you do all this, you are ready to receive payments through Prospay. Remember that if you're taking calls on Boost Lingo, uh, the payment terms are the following. Your payment will be available here on your Prospay dashboard on the 25th of every month. That day, you will uh, see the funds for the previous month. So for, uh, for example, um, we're in June now. Let's say that, uh, that it's June the, uh, the 25th. So that day, I will see the payments for May, right? So you will have to wait uh, until the 25th of the following month. So if I take calls in this month in June, the payment for those calls will be available on July 25th. Remember to wait until the 25th in every case. Prospay will also give you the option to request an advance withdrawal. So for example, let's say that you can't wait until the 25th and you have to withdraw your funds earlier because you need to pay something. Um, then you can come here to Prospay and you can request uh, the, those funds in advance. And of course, a, a small fee will be applied to that. The fee depends on your membership level and the type of membership that we have that you have. But I will cover all that in a, in the following video. Go there and uh, check the that video so that you can learn uh, when to withdraw your funds, how to do it, and you know a few tips for you. So that's all for today. Remember that you can contact the support team at any time. Simply click here on your navigation bar on this question mark and then go to this option support center to contact the pros.com support team you can also contact prospay at payments at pros.com or you can contact the pros.com interpreter network at interpreters at pros.com i'm leaving all this contact information in the description below and if you need to contact me you can do it at enrique.m at pros.com so i hope this is useful to you and let me know if you have any questions Goodbye.